subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Tropical Storm Infa is slowly gaining strength today, only up to 65 miles per hour now, but it is strengthening and it's expected to become a typhoon, potentially category 2 on the Cephas Simpson hurricane scale, before it reaches the southern Japanese islands. We currently have it with winds of 65 miles per hour, or 105 kilometers per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 983 millibars, it's moving west-northwest at 3 miles per hour, or 5 kilometers per hour, and it now has a CDPS rating of 7, wind speed just above significant, storm size just below extreme, rainfall potential just at major, and the overall threat is above major. This stage 7 means that catastrophic damage is possible, and we're looking for a potential landfall in the Yakojima uh, in a couple days. The current wind fields, this is quite a large system, and you can see that clearly with the wind fields there. The JTWC forecast, at last I looked, they are expecting this to grow uh, bigger uh, as it approaches the uh, Japanese islands, and that only adds up to the current CDPS score. The current distances look like this. It's 204 miles or 328 kilometers from Naha, 326 miles or 525 kilometers from Miyakojima, 417 miles or 671 kilometers from Tekei Tomi, and 507, uh, 551 miles, sorry, eight and 886 kilometers from Keelung City in Taiwan, and 706 miles or 1336 from Fuzhou in eastern China. The current intensity estimate spread, majority of them are at least 60 miles per hour, uh, 65 or 70 miles per hour. ADT, however, is all the way down at 40 miles per hour, but you can see general agreement there, 60 to 70 miles per hour. We're at 65 miles per hour as shown on our forecast cone from earlier today. You can see that gradual intensification, we're expecting a peak around 105 miles per hour, that's around 90 knots and you can see it's getting very close to some of those Japanese islands, in particular Miyakojima, where we have that stage 7 CDPS for a potential landfall. The uh, CDPS, I believe I put in 85 knots for that landfall, which is around 100 miles per hour. Uh, the size was really the big taker in that uh, CDPS rating. We're looking at a really a large system that could potentially come through, adding to a big surge threat, along with rainfall potentially exceeding 15 inches. The sea surface temperatures for Infa are not going to be an issue at all. They do drop off as you get towards China, but at, for the foreseeable future we've got uh, very warm sea surface temperatures ahead of Infa. HWRF wind swath takes us up maybe to category 3 intensity. Uh, just north of Taiwan, you can see that extreme rainfall there. It puts over the, the H wharf puts over 32 inches of rain in Taiwan. Let's hope that's not verified. The multi-model diagnostic comparison, you can see general uptrend. Uh, some models are taking this towards 100 knots. The wind shear is on a general decrease, um, generally staying in between 10 and 20 knots. The sea surface temperatures are going to be on a gradual decline until around the 19th then they'll sort of go up a little bit and level off. So, as I said earlier, sea surface temperatures are not going to be an issue. And the midland relative humidity, that is on a slight downtrend from now on. The visible imagery is just coming in. Uh, not too organized uh, as of right now. It's got a good uh, circulation, but you can see that dry air, it's messing with the system and it's got a bit of dry air near that core. If it can work out that dry air, and consolidate its core further, then we can see intensification, and then we can see um, how strong it will get. Stay tuned to 413s, we'll keep you updated on the latest on Tropical Storm Info. As this is T Coast Code Red.